here, mate. So just a smaller version of that red one, of course. Yep. Quite resistant. <laughs> That's not bad, is it? As you seen last night, Reese has filled up the Delica. This actually needs it. Um, our cars have hardly left left the full mark, but I reckon you might be able to get these 40 litres in there. So any time you can get weight off your roof, go for it. So this firewood will be coming off tonight. It's the last bag to be burnt. Get these down. Pure methanol, mate. Straight in. Straight in. So this is day three. We've done about 160 k's since Big Red. As probably mentioned earlier, this Prado here's got the 150 litre tank underneath it because it's got the spare wheel on the back. 190. I think Darren's carrying just above 200. Yep. So in total I've got so 260 litres on me this trip. 260? Yep. Yeah right. That's fuel and jerry that's so that's in car and jerry cans. 260 litres. Oh mate, that is perfect. 40? 40 litres to the top of the spout. I can actually put my finger in. Touch diesel straight away. Oh, mate. I haven't used all mine. She's done. Got a little bit in there still, but. Alright, guys, we are peeling out of camp for our first day on the French line. So, I don't know, it could get a little bit hard for me, hopefully, because um, it make for a very interesting day. Let's do it. Just cruising in low range, just picking a gear. We're actually getting a bit of bush pinstriping down the side, so as you can see, a few bushes coming pretty close. It's these real dry ones that uh, really makes a bit of noise.
Right, hey, so I'm, I'm just gonna look quickly. Well guys, this is pretty interesting at night. Obviously we've uh, we've been a bit slow on our moving time. So Darren reckons we've been doing about 11.4 kilometers an hour. So average moving time. So yeah, we're not really cutting the mustard in far as making it across. We were meant to be at Curtin Springs tomorrow night, which is 80 kilometers from Uluru. And that's still a fair drive, so really we need to be camped in one of the very last camps along the french line so pretty much at perny ball so then we can just peel out go straight to dalhousie have a look quick quick look at mount dare and then yeah we're meant to be banking k's so um yeah we just gotta we gotta push on a bit tonight and get to a, a different campsite while we're here we'll talk about fuel too because i have used absolutely nothing i've used the um sort of 30 liters i put in this morning out of the jerry's and it's just dipping off full now so you know if we make it to perny bore and i've got more than three quarters of a tank i'll have heaps and i'll tip that 10 liters in um, in the morning I might not even have to get fuel at all at Mount Dare. I don't know, we'll see how we go, but it looks like there is a few roadhouses out on the highway. So to put it in perspective, I think we paid $2.38 at Birdsville. Um, and when my friend's done the French line here about four weeks ago, they paid $3.15 at Mount Dare per litre of diesel. So, yeah, I don't... We got scrambled eggs. We got scrambled eggs, bacon, bit of cabanossi. Beautiful on a wrap. Cab brekkie. Cool. We'll get you going. That's it. Just doing some coffee now, mate. Look at that. 
the good oil. <laughs> Day four of the Simo, day six of the trip. Bit more fuel in Big Dell. So she was down to uh, a quarter uh, at our camp last night, and we're just putting in hopefully another two jerry cans. Hey, oh, what are you bit, doing? Bit of a tidy up, mate. Look at that. Bloody hell. It's just all out of this one little fire here. A little bit over there, but... People just leaving their crap around, eh? Terrible. So, got the trash bags. We'll just chuck it in there. Like alloy, like cans and... Like melted cans. And... Mate, that'll go through someone's foot. It's filling up a little bit. We've been getting a fair bit along the way, eh? We have, mate. It's a shame to see, really. I actually don't know how I'd carry rubbish in this car if I didn't have this thing. I really don't. Where would you put it? Have a look in there. Where would you put it? Yeah, there's nowhere to carry your rubbish. It's probably part of the issue and pure laziness as well, why they just leave it laying around. Yeah, they but, just um, don't care either, mate. No, but those bags, they come in handy, don't they? Yeah. Flip it up. all the gas in there too. The trip. Um, spare parts, mate. Spare parts? <laughs> yeah. So this is the mud flap assembly. <laughs> Look at how ridiculous that is though. Look at that. That's anyway, mud flap assembly. Yep. GSL mud flap, hardly used. So it's bloody brand new. I know, right? We'll polish her up, we'll put that back on it the car. Didn't even break. I know. That's Look at it. I know, right? So GSL for the wind right there. Uh, Toyota parts, not so much. <laughs> and down here, so this is this is what you do when you push to, to preserve fuel. We make it more aerodynamic, so now we've got no wind drag. Okay, it's all gone. So, I've ripped all that off. It's totally off. Yeah, totally off. Yep. Have damaged the guard a bit, but... Oh, yeah, as you can see, a bit of paint falling off. Okay. But yeah, oh well, that's travelling. Cool. originally called Line B and then they uh, later renamed it to the French Line. So they were actually out here looking for oil. So a French company looking for oil in the desert sand. So there was 45 men out here for three months between the 1st of July 1963 and they were um, accommodated at each camp, living quarters pulled by Chev Blitz wagons each weighing up to 16 tonnes. Blew the holes and... Yeah, so little blast patterns to get through, yeah. That's pretty cool. That's the marker there, mate. That's the marker. Yep. B270. Well, that's wow. also an indication, it doesn't matter how remote you are, that there's still someone's been out here blowing things up, digging holes, drilling holes, like, yeah. in the middle of nowhere. So it just proves that nothing in Australia is sort of actually remote actually remote or actually really untouched. Like that's an indication. Yeah. So that was erected in April 2011 by their family and friends. That sign, yeah. Yeah, right. It's a good sign. Like okay. if you just drove past that, you wouldn't, you you just wouldn't think too post. much about it. But what they actually done is from east of um, Dalhousie yep. all the way to Pothel's Corner. Yep. That's what they shot, so. So now that shows like all those little markers, now we know what they are. They mustn't have found um, any more. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. Well, this wouldn't be a track. It. This yeah, would be a mine. Mm-hmm. So there you go. I have enjoyed uh, not seeing a car yet today. It's been Same here. And even last night, I didn't see one for ages. The bumps are getting pretty uh, 
pretty how you're going, but we just it's just gonna have to wash this speed off, go even slower. Yeah. But keen for a dip, Dow Howley, get these jeans off. Mate, you need one. I can on. Smell you from pop off. Listen. <laughs> We've just come across this at Perny Bore. It is an absolute gem. Look at it. It is seamless. Come on, take us closer. Absolutely seamless. Look at the rack on it. This thing is so cool. It's called a super wagon. It is a super wagon, mate, yep. The old Land Cruiser super wagon. Four ton GBM. Yep. Here we got it. Rear winch, big tow bar. Yep. It's got all the kit on it. Turbo. Max track, solar. Big awning. Electric awning on the thing. Yeah. Bloody hell, mate. It's one of those four Amazons, eh? Yeah. 2H turbo. So we've got a tap. It's pretty much a solar shower, really. Tank up the top. Yeah, that'd, that'd, that'd heat up really nice up there too, wouldn't it? Yeah. No, I've got a it's got three fuel tanks. It's got the front. Oh, it's got the rear tank, the standard tank, and it's got a belly tank as well, so. It's got to be about uh, 270 litres on board this thing. Oh, mate, get in there. Mate, this is beautiful. Where are these springs, eh? This is not bad at all. Noodles supplied. Very warm. Not too warm, but very nice. It's actually huge. Like, look all the way down there, and then you turn around this way, do 180. All the way down there. It's massive. Massive. It's actually heaps bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Hmm. A lot bigger, actually. I'm liking it. Straight out of the desert, straight into a spring. Can't go wrong. Just treading the water, mate. That's it. They reckon these sorts of things have healing properties, eh? Yeah. Hot springs and stuff in the bush. Fix all your skin yeah, and stuff, eh? Yeah, yeah. They used to... I've seen a lot of elders and stuff out in the Kimberleys when they find hot springs, like the young young bloods will bring them down and actually help them float them around in the rivers. Just, they reckon, heals all the muscles and all the aches and pains and stuff, so... Yeah, yeah. Hopefully you boys are fighting fit and fit to fight after this, eh? That's it. Yeah. Giving the neck a bit of a um, 
a douse because you know. It's <laughs> gonna so dick. Buddy, when you see that delicious drive past you, mate, it just it just nails you. Just <laughs> your neck, mate. The Delica's made the Simpsons, so that's number one. <laughs> now we gotta make it out of here. <laughs> Back home. That's it. It's a long way to go. It's yet. still got to go through the West McDonald Ranges yet. We've got a long way to go. And don't forget, boys, the further we go, the rock's going to get a lot harder. And the corrugation. Yeah. So it's not going to be like soft sand where the Delica can just punch its way through at warp speed. She's going to be like, the ship will break. Yeah. Like last night, anyone would have thought there was a bloody UFO flying through that Simo because I tell you, the French line, it was a Delica blur. Mate's still on 100 k's an hour, bananas flying around, <laughs> car and all sorts of shit. It's true, dude. Righto, boys, where to next? Mount Dare, mate. Mount Dare. Mount Dare. Yep. Assess our fuel situation. Yep. Have a look, see uh, how far that next roadhouse is out on the highway. Yep. And then we've got to punch out to, well, the plan was to get to Curtin Springs. Yeah. Yeah. But. That could be a bit of a stretch, I think. Yeah, oh. we might be looking for a... It's what, three o'clock and we're sitting here in our bloody pool noodles. Yeah. Before it's you a... boys end up like bloody lobsters getting out of there, <laughs> eh? Like dried apricot. Yeah, oh, I'd say more like a boiled crayfish. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Pumped us. T-shirt to the Mount Air pub. It's the most remote pub in Australia and it all goes to the uh, Royal Flying Doctors. So it's a great cause. If you get here, definitely get something up and uh, support the Royal Flying Doctors. Alright, so I'm going to put my name right here and then we're going to put a date down here. So we'll be up on the wall, guys. Look at this, out in the beer garden, Mount Dare. Apparently, it's taken seven years to get this grass to grow. Sprinklers, got a couple of horses. Doggos. Losing sunlight, that. <laughs> Little doggo. Little dam. Look at the bird life. It's like a little oasis. Up of marlins in there. Kept on fire in my pocket. Oh, it's been recording. It's been recording for twenty minutes. <laughs> we are out there. Just topped up the tanks. Can't keep this bloke away from a chat, I tell you what. Anyway, plenty of bikes, sunset, beer garden, 
moon's up there. Not too bad. Got it. The sky looks incredible. Filled up. Ready to punch it again. That's right, mate. Mount there at sunset. How good is it? Yeah. What about all the galahs around? Yeah. Bloody awesome. Mate. They feel that lake. Yeah, no, yeah, it's right. Alrighty, boys. We just made a good discovery there at the uh, Mount Dare that. The Lambert Centre of Australia is only 133 kilometres from here, so very achievable. Sounds like a good camp. So we'll turn right here, eh? Yeah, mate, towards Fink, and then, yeah, we turn left. This. I actually thought it was someone at the border doing the um the quarantine but no the community car <laughs> to be quite honest this is what I thought the Delica was gonna be looking like by now but look at it still powering on we've uh, we've been calling it the missile Cause it is dead set. It is a missile. Oh, look at that! Oh yeah, that's she's a hit some big. This is this is a. Uh... Oh yeah, she's been cut too. It's for performance, mate. Yeah, it looks a bit like your system actually. Big twin pipes. It does mate? That's like look out. Yeah. It's built for it. All right, guys. Here she is again. Northern Territory. Let's go. They all were, mate. They're capital station owners, mate. They just love a good laugh and they love the cold ones. So as long as you know how to you have a good time, they're up for it, eh? Lambert's centre of Australia. So this is the iconic landmark. I actually thought it was a lot more remote than this. It's only 12 kilometres off the main track. Mm. But this campsite, this is a really good campsite. So Not bad. Yeah, it's if, great. I tell you what, if you're in the area, definitely come and camp here. Yeah, it's come check it out. Beautiful ground, awesome landmark up here. Australian flag, got all the um, variety bashes, stickers and stuff everywhere. Everyone's been here, put their little Put their little tag on it. Yeah, definitely. All the locks, all the stories. Yeah. So, what was your thoughts on the Simpson Desert, mate? Um, I thought it was pretty easy, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. Um, I only got stuck once um, over this little dune, but other than that, it was kind of a breeze, to be honest. So, I don't know whether we had a great run, um, or if it does get tougher than that. But yeah, I was surprised that the uh, Delica got all the way through it. So yeah, pretty impressed. What about you guys? Mate, watching that Delica was just the funniest thing. Like, it was, it was just cruising up these little dunes and it was like a bloody ladybug. It just walked on the sand, just kept going. You only got stuck because we stopped at the top of a hill. Yeah. I'll tell you what did get you stuck is I, I had this big camera up on the, on the back of it with this magnet mount and I said, don't go too hard because you'll throw the thing off yeah. there. So, and then I was right up the back of him and yeah. 
anyway. Went from there, but... I, I, I don't count that as getting stuck. At all. Nah, I wouldn't count it as getting stuck because, honestly, you would have driven it. You drove a lot harder before, so that was the easy one. What were you... We calculated about 93 litres in yeah. the Delica. Yeah, 93 litres. And you had like 170 or 170 something. litres I took for the trip. I, I thought it was easy. Yeah, even the Prado, like, rocked into Mount Dare, nearly three quarters of a tank. Like, yeah. yeah. You know, I only carried bloody 40 litres on the roof. Oh, I've still got 20 litres on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> I topped up out of convenience, but 20 litres still on the roof. And Yeah, I think the Simo's, it's okay. It was easy. Mm. I mean, you, you know, we've seen other guys going through there and all sorts of stuff. Stock cars, mate. Like, yeah. I, I don't know how enjoyable it'll be, but, um, you know, I, I definitely think a good set of tyres and suspension is pretty important in the Simo, but... I think it's a bit overrated, mm. like the Simo. Mm. Let's be honest. Did we see any animals? No. Not Nothing. really, no. Was there any real great spots to camp where you go that, I would camp there again? No. None. No. How many this cars? This is a better campsite. This is, yeah. We've had a better night here than yep. the entire from Birdsville to Mount Dare. Like, yeah. there was nothing. Like, nothing. Even though we explored a fair bit, there's nothing that you'd write home about. Every camp looked the same. Everything was... And every camp that we found had some sort of rubbish on it. Something was burnt on it. There was mm. multiple fires on it. Mm. Anyway, today we're going to boost out of here. We've got a 12km drive back to the main dirt road yep. from Fink. Heading back to that main, what's that main road called? Heading north, up to Alice. We'll boost up that road for a little um, bit. Turn left out to Uluru. So. On the Stuart Highway. Stuart Highway. Yeah. And then out onto Lassie, uh, Lassie Away. Yeah, it's a bit early, I can't remember the names, eh? Yeah. First roadhouse you hit from Fink towards Uluru. And the old four tyres at once trick. The beauty is you can lock the car, walk in, get some food, come back out, it's done. You just gotta unhook all the way. been talking about this a little bit. Yep. And instead of going right out in the desert to see birds. Many people were just out there take photos of birds. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't start this conversation. <laughs> like, honestly, it gives me nightmares. Bird people have some real weird fetishes in life, eh? Hey? Watch bird watchers. Do not go out to a desert track to just watch birds. Budgies. Budgies. Like you said, you can find them. Go to your local pet, pet store, shop. guys. If you want to take photos of budgies, go to your pet store. Local go and pet buy store. One. Go and buy one. You call can have him, one in the cage. Call him Petey. Like, buy a 10 pack of them or something. 10 pack ten of budgies. Pack of budgies. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the go. One for each colour. <laughs> can I have a 10 pack? <laughs> Next, can a 10 pack of budgies? <laughs> um, but yeah, because that really annoyed me because they just park everywhere. Literally, 10 pack. And just my colour, too. That big one on the right, that's having a nap. That's Petey. So I'm gonna buy a ten pack of budgies. I might even buy what if it's hang on. Hang on, there's some big ones over here. Go up. Oh, oh, hang on. Stain the flame and crow. He's got a galara. Got it. Is that a hawk? Yeah. Sure is, but I might get a couple more budgies. I was thinking about one. Oh, these ones are full flat. What, what are we doing? Watching birds. Watching birds. <laughs> It's not, that. Look at that. It's not a bad shot actually. It's like I'm famous. See? Yeah. For the rear vision mirror. So they just pull around the cruiser as a drive. Righto oh, no, mate, have a look at this. Look at that owl mate. What are you going to do with that? Oh I know where that's going. Straight in the back of the toilet door right. Eh? <laughs> I know what you're up to. Yeah mate, Uluru at sunrise, let's go. Through the boom gate. That's it. Let's do it. The side view of the old instruments.
We have officially made it to the Olgas. How cool is this? Check it out. These are massive. Check this one out. Pretty special. I'm impressed with this place. You feel like a midget compared to these uh, cliff faces here. That's for sure. It's kind of funny. Look, like this um, this side is all like gravelly looking, and then you look at the other side here behind me, and it's all smooth rock. Kind of looks a bit like um, Uluru, really, nice and smooth. Oh guys, this place is amazing. This is why you gotta come and explore some of these places to get the full experience. Anyway guys, that was the top of the uh, gorge. And now I'm just making my way back down. Um, but yeah, apparently the Valley of the Winds walk is really good. Uh, we don't have time to do that because um, we're on a tight schedule, but yeah, this was really good to come and have a look. Picturesque. It is, isn't it? And it feels good to stretch the legs after being in the car for so long. Yeah, what? The distance up there. Yep. How tall is that? Oh, mate, I don't know. Yeah, it'd have to be. It'd have to be. Look at the big craters in the side of it. done at the Uluru Resort Campground. So not a bad stay, it's um, pretty close to to the um, action out here. So you've got the sunset sunrise spots on both um, both attractions, Uluru and the Olgas. So that's pretty good. But um, yeah, now we're just gonna boost out the Curtain Springs. So it's actually a really good spot here to um, stock up on all your supplies. So we've got fuel, We've emptied our bins from the Simpson Desert. So there we are on the last of the highway. We're heading back east. We're going to stay at Curtin Springs tonight. Just get our plan together. Get ready to hit the West McDonnell Ranges. So um, it's a little bit too regulated down here for us. There's, uh, there's a little bit too much going on as far as um, access to places. Like you really can't get off the road at all. Um, so yeah. We're actually really keen to get in the West McDonald Ranges, try and get out the back a little bit. Maybe some places that you know isn't isn't so broadcasted or anything like that. Try and get out there, try and find some cracker spots out there. So. G'day guys, we just packed up at Curtin Springs. We are out the front, we've got Mount Corner over in the distance. This is often uh, confused as Uluru on the way through. So it's actually you come across a bit over 100 kilometers before you get to Uluru. But today we're heading up into West McDonald Ranges. But our main aim today is to find a really good camp. Yes. That's our aim. That's it. Today? That's all we got. That's all we got for you today, finding and, a camp. And that does require going bush. So we're gonna film going bush. Yes. And hopefully it gets a bit wild. So let's go. 